So first we will discuss about the function of eyes. Eyes. So eyes. So children, where the eyes are located in our body? Yes, in head. So what are these called? Yes, eyes. How many eyes we have? We have two eyes. So eyes are located in the front part of our head. That means in our face. So our face contains eyes. We have two eyes. So children, look at the picture. So what are they? Yes, the picture contains eyes. So every human body will have two eyes. So what is the function of our eyes? So what work can we do with our eyes? Can children anybody tell me? Yes, eyes are used to observe the surroundings around us and to observe various things around us. That means we are able to observe different types of trees, animals and vehicles and everything around us. So everything in our world and everything in our surroundings will be observed by our eyes only. So eyes are used to observe various things around us. That means to observe trees, plants and animals and each and everything. That means both living things and non-living things and can be observed with the help of our eyes. So what is the function of our eyes? So to see. So the function of our eyes is to see. So we can see with our eyes. So we can see with our eyes. So we can see with our eyes. So this is the function of our eyes. So this is the function of our eyes. So if we see the beautiful things, we will feel very happy. And if we feel very sad, then the water will come out from our ears. So if you feel very sad and if you are unhappy, then or if you cry, if you have some pain in your body, then you will cry. So if you cry, then water will come out from our eyes. So what is that water called? Yes, tears. Tears. So the water come out from the eyes when we cry is called tears. So these tears helpful to our eyes. Very very helpful to our eyes. Because these tears keep our eyes to become dry. So if there are no tears then our eyes become very dried and then it becomes burnt. So we feel the sensation of burning. So that's why tears are very helpful to keep the eyes always wet. So if there are no tears, then our eyes becomes dried. So these tears keep the eyes wet. So keep the eyes wet. So this is about the function of eyes. So this is the function of eyes. So what we can see, what we can do with our eyes, we can see. So what we can do with our eyes, we can see. So we can see everything around us, everything around us. That means everything in our surroundings can be observed with our eyes. And if you carefully observe, the eyes has some uh, door like structures that means windows like structure so how can we close our eyes yes we can close our eyes with our eyelids so what are these called eyelids so eyelids eyelids so these eyelids protect our eye from the dust 
air and uh, uh, various types of uh, dust and air so this eyelid protects us from the dust and insects so this eyelid very very helpful to our eye to protect dust in our air so this is about our eyes so the first part in our head so eyes so what is the function of our eyes to see so we can see with our eyes so eyes are used for seeing so very good so chalo next part we will discuss about the function of next part ears ears so children look at the picture so what does the picture have so what does the picture contain so tell me what is the name of that part yes that is ear very good so children how many ears we have we have two ears so where the ears are located so the ears are located to our head so the two ears are located on each side of our head that means one ear is located on the left side of our head so this is our left ear and second ear is located or attached to the right side of our head so see the children this is the second ear so this is attached to the right side of our head so this is called right ear so we have how many ears we have so we have two ears so we have two ears and one is left ear which is present at the left side of our head and another is right ear which is present at the right side of our head so this is the these are the ears now let us discuss what is the function of our ears so that means what work can be performed by our ears so what what can we do with our ears so children what can we do with our ears can you anybody tell me so what can we do with our ears so what is the use of our ears yes we can listen so we can listen so ears are used for listening so ears are used for listening so what can we listen so we can listen various type of sounds that means a uh, uh, sounds of vehicles and the sounds made by the different birds around us and the sounds made by the uh, children in the classroom and the sound made by the school bell so every day we will listen a various type of sounds and if we play the cell phone we will listen a beautiful and pleasant music so every day we will see the cell phones and we will see the tvs in tvs we will listen various type of music and songs and dances so every day we will listen various type of sounds around us with our ears so if we have no ears what happens so we cannot able to hear any music and we cannot able to hear the words of anybody who are talking with us so if anybody talking with you you can able to hear those words with the help of your ears so what is the function of our ears so ears are used for listening so listening so this is the function of ears so we can listen we can listen with what part which part yes we can listen with our ears for example every day every day we will uh, hear various type of uh, sounds that means a uh, uh, birds different types of birds make a different types of sounds and uh, we can identify that object or i can identify that thing from the sound made by it without seeing it so some people does not have eyes 
and some people will lose their eyes but even though they can identify those objects with the help of the sound coming from those objects so ears are very very helpful and uh, we can identify the objects even though we have no eyes for example we can identify the different types of birds with the uh, sounds made by them and we can identify the crow sound so if you listen the sound made by the crow we can identify that the bird is crow without observing the crow without seeing the crow so there is no need to see the crow even though we can identify the sound is coming from crow and also we can identify a parrot by the sound made by it and also we can identify the sound made by the school bell and the sound is coming from the bell so there is no need to observe the school bell and we can easily identify that the bell, that the thing is a school bell and the sound with the help of sound coming from it so in this way we can identify most of the objects around us just by listening the sound from it coming from it and there is no need to see with our eyes so most of the objects we can identify and also we can identify different types of animals also without seeing them and just by listening the sounds coming from them so the dog will bark and and by listening its barking we can identify that the animal is dog and we can identify the animal is cat just by listening its sound produced from the cat so in this way we can identify various type of animals by just listening the sound made by the animals so lion make different type of sound and tiger make different types of sounds and all so in this way different types of birds different types of animals make different types of sounds with the help of those sounds we can identify a particular animal we can identify that a particular bird and we can listen various types of sounds coming from musical instruments for example can anybody tell me the types of musical instruments can anybody yes veena and next yes guitar yes violin and flute so these are the musical instrument we can observe in our daily life and each musical instrument produces various types of sounds and we can identify every musical instrument just by listening the sound produced from it that means veena produces a different sound by its strings and we can identify that the instrument is veena just by listening the sound from it in the same way we can identify the flute so flute produces a different sound and by listening the sound produced from the flute we can identify that the object is a flute so in this way by using ears we can listen various types of sounds and we can identify various types of objects without seeing the object by just listening the sound coming from it so ears are very very helpful to our to listening various types of music so even though some people cannot have eyes they can even identify the objects and they, they can even walk on the road some blind people can even walk on the road just by listening the sounds and they can identify the objects and they uh, walk just your side so this is the function of ears so mainly what is the function of ears what is the function of ears yes listening so we can listen with our ears yes very good so this is about ears okay so children now we are going to discuss about the third part nose so what is this nose so what is the function of nose so what is nose look at the picture children so what does the picture show you so can anybody tell me what is the picture showing yes in the picture 
it is nose so where it is located in our body as the nose is located in our head so how many nose we have we have only one nose so how many nose we have we have one nose so what is the function of nose that means what work can be performed by using nose so what can we use the nose what type of work can we do with the nose what is the function of the nose so the function of the nose is to breathe so what is the function of nose to breathe so we can breathe with our which part nose yes we can breathe with our nose so breathing means breathing means what is breathing so we have already learned that all living so children what is breathing so we have already learned that all living beings need oxygen for their survival so where the oxygen is present the oxygen is present in our air in surrounding air so all living beings will take the oxygen into their body with the help of their nose so the process of taking oxygen into their body is called breathing so that's why all the living beings breathe oxygen for their survival so all living being means so all animals and all plants and all human beings will breathe oxygen for their survival so breathing will takes place with the help of our nose so nose is helpful to breathe oxygen from the atmosphere that means from the air so what the nose can do so what work the nose will perform so nose will nose will do that means nose will take the oxygen present in the atmosphere into our body that means into our lungs so we can breathe with the help of our nose so what is the function of nose so the nose is used to breathe that means we will breathe with our which part s yes, nose so we will breathe our nose and also we can smell so we can smell with our nose so not only breathing we can smell different types of items that means various types of things we can smell with the help of our nose especially we can smell uh, various type of flowers so different types of flowers produces different types of fragrances that means uh, we can identify just by smelling a flower whether it is rose or not so rose produces a different type of smell and jasmine produces a different type of smell and lily produces a different types of smell so based on that smell we can identify the flower whether it is a jasmine whether it is a lily or whether it is a rose so nose is very helpful to identify the objects just by smelling it so not only flowers we can identify various types of objects and various types of things especially some food items so we can identify some food items just by smelling with our nose so we can identify some fruits also for example mango a sweet smell will come from mango so we can identify from that smell that the given fruit is mango and also we can identify a guava so in this way we can identify some fruits and we can identify some flowers and we can identify some food items just by smelling with our nose so especially if we take food items uh, we can identify if it is egg curry we can identify it is an egg curry with the help of smell coming from the egg curry 
and also we can identify some non-veg item curries that means chicken if anybody our that means if any neighborhood people will preparing a chicken curry we can easily identify that they are preparing chicken in their house so how can we identify just from the smell coming from that non-veg item so in this way we can identify some food items some fruits and some flowers like jasmine, rose, lily so we can identify so many things with the help of just by smelling with our nose so what are the functions of nose again see so the functions of nose is one is to breathe and the second one is to smell so one is to breathe and the second one is to smell so we can breathe with our nose and we can smell with our nose so children the next part is tongue so what is the function of tongue so what work will be performed by our tongue that means so what is the use of our tongue so first of all children let uh, see the picture so what does the picture have yes the picture has tongue so where does the tongue is located Yes, the tongue is present in our mouth. That means inside the mouth. So, this is called tongue. This is called tongue. So, where it is? So, it is present inside our mouth. So, the tongue is present inside our mouth. So, inside our mouth. That means inside the mouth. And what is the function of our tongue? So, what is its function? So we can eat different types of foods with our mouth. So mouth is used to eat food. So mouth is used to eat different types of foods. So all living beings eat food because uh, they get energy from the food they have taken. So if they do not take food, they did not get energy and they cannot survive. And they cannot move from one place to another place and they cannot survive so they will be dead if they take if they do not take food for more days so that's why every living beings need food for their survival so, and they take food with the help of their mouth and tongue is present inside the mouth and what is the function of tongue so with the mouth we eat, we eat food but, but what is the function of tongue so the tongue is used to taste so tongue is used to taste so we can taste with our tongue so tongue is used to taste so what is the function of the tongue so tongue is used to taste different food items so we can taste different food items with our tongue so mainly there are four types of tastes so any any type of food item contains any type of these four types of tastes so what are the four types of tastes so especially we will feel four types of tastes so those are one is sweet sweet and the second one is sour and the third one is salty and fourth one is bitter so we can taste these four types of tastes with our tongue so we express different types of feelings while we are tasting this type of tastes so if we, take, if we eat cakes or chocolates so what are the items uh, which, which items are our sweet in taste so chocolates that means cakes and sweets so these are the food items which are in sweet taste so how can we taste that, uh, that the sense of sweet so by using our tongue we can taste the this is sweet and uh, what is sour so we can also taste the a sense of sour with the help of our tongue so so if we can feel the taste of sour with our tongue if we eat lemon 
So look at the picture. A boy eating lemon and expresses the feeling of sour taste. And we will express different types of feelings while tasting these four types of tastes. So we like very much the taste of sweet. Everybody likes the sweets. So everybody likes the taste of sweets. That's why everybody likes to eat cakes, chocolates and different types of sweets. And sour taste, lemon, orange. So we can express the feeling of sour taste while eating a lemon. Look at the picture. The boy is expressing his feeling and he is tasting the lemon. So these various types of feelings of tastes can be obtained with the help of tongue. So how can we get the taste of sour with the help of tongue? So we can uh, feel that the uh, feel that the sour taste with the help of tongue and the salt. So we will use this salt in all types of food items prepared in our house. So almost all food items need salt and that salt taste can be sensed with the help of our tongue. So with the help of our tongue we can sense these four types of tastes. And last one is bitter. So what are the food items in bitter taste? Uh, bitter gourd. If you eat uh, un non edible bitter, uh, bitter gourd and if you eat raw bitter gourd you will feel the taste of bitter you can sense the taste of bitter with the tongue so bitter gourd and a raw goa so these are in bitter taste and we can sense that bitter taste with the help of the tongue so these are the functions of our tongue and these are the four types of tastes so these four types of tastes can be sensed with the help of our tongue. So we taste with our tongue. So we taste with our tongues. So tongue is used to taste different types of food items. And why because the tongue senses these four types of tastes means the tongue contains taste birds. That means tasty birds. So these tasty birds, these tasty birds present on the tongue gives the four types of senses. That means these four types of taste senses to our, to our brain. So that's why, so this is the function of our tongue. So the function of our tongue is to taste. The function of our mouth is to eat. Let us discuss about the function of the fourth part, the scene, that is hands. So look at the picture. So what does the picture have? Children, can you anybody tell me? So what does the picture have? Yes, the picture have arms. So what are these? Arms. That means hands. How many hands we have? We have two hands. So one is left hand which is present at the left side of our trunk. So this is the left hand. And this is called right hand which is present at the right side of our trunk. So that's why we have how many hands we have? Two hands. So we have two hands. So one is left hand present at the left side of our body. And the second one is right hand which is present at the right side of our body. So we have two hands. So let us discuss what is the function of our hands. So what works can we perform with our hands? So what are the uses of our hands? So we can do write. So what is the function of our hands? Is to write. That means we can write with our hands. Now I am able to write on the board with the help of hands. And the next one is to eat food. So hands are used to eat food. So we can eat food with our hand. And the third function of the hands is to clap or for clapping. That means we can clap with our two hands. So we can clap with our two hands. And fourth one is to play games. 
to play games so we can play different types of games with the help of our hands like carrom board so in carrom board we will use our hand to strike the coins in the carrom board and also we can play the game chess with the help of our hand and we can play video games by moving the joysticks and by pressing the buttons on the uh, the playstations of the remotes and also we can play games with the help of our hand on the cell phones nowadays we are using uh, cell phones uh, for playing games so these are the functions of our hands so let us see again so hands are used to write to eat food to clap and fourth one is to play games so these are the functions of our hands so we can do these type of actions with the help of our hands so these are the functions of our hands so these are the functions of our hands so the next part is legs so we will discuss about what is the function of legs so children look at the picture what does the picture have yes the picture have legs so how many legs we have we have two legs so how many legs we have we have two legs so just like the hands that is the right hand and the left hand so we have also two legs that is the leg which is present on the left side is called left leg and also the leg which is present on the right side is called right leg so total we have two legs so now what are the functions of the legs that means what are the various types of works can be performed with the help of legs that means what, what are the uses of legs so can you, anybody tell me children so what are the uses of legs yes the first use of leg is we can walk so that means to walk so legs are used to walk so we can walk with our legs and second one is to run so we can run with our legs so if you see the running race so how can we run so with the help of our two legs we can run and can you tell anybody tell me next use of legs yes to dance so we can dance with our legs and also the fourth use of legs is to jump to jump so we can jump with the help of our legs so these are the various types of functions of our legs so these are the various types of functions that means various types of works that we can perform with our legs so let us see once again what are the uses of legs that is what are the functions of legs so legs are used to walk and legs are used to run and legs are used to dance and legs are used to jump so these are the different functions of our legs so already you have learned about the various parts contained in each leg that means thighs knees ankle feet toes so all these parts are very helpful for perform this type of functions so this is about the functions of our legs children the next part is the teeth so let us discuss about the teeth so all the children look at the picture so what does the picture have yes the picture is showing teeth so where does the teeth located as yes, inside our mouth so these are the teeth so what are the functions of teeth so what works can we perform with our teeth that means what are the uses of our teeth so can anybody tell me what can you do with your teeth what can you do with your teeth yes you can chew so to chew to chew the food items that means for chewing and also for biting to bite 
So we can bite different types of fruits like apples, guava. So while eating, we have to bite with our teeth. So look at the picture. A girl is, uh, a lady is eating apple. So before eating apple, we have to bite with our uh, teeth. So with our teeth, we can chew the food items. And the teeth are very helpful to eat food and also to, to talk. Yes, we are able to talk with our teeth. So if we do not have teeth, we cannot talk. And we cannot talk. So if you observe a very old people having 70 or 80 years and most of the old people will lose their teeth and they cannot able to talk clearly because they lose their teeth because of their old age. So that means if we do not have teeth, we cannot talk properly. So teeth are very helpful to talk. And also teeth are used to chew the food item. So every day we will eat food during lunch time and dinner time. So if you take food inside our mouth, uh, the teeth are used for chewing. And also the teeth are used for biting the different types of fruits and different types of hard items. So to break that hard items, so we use the teeth. So these are the various types of functions of teeth. So these are the uses of our teeth.